first of all we'll be starting with the half double crochet and we're gonna be using the a chain of 11 so you can go ahead and create your chain of 11 um, just pause the video and then once you have your chain you can um, just carry on um, with me okay so we're going to be doing it the same way with the single crochet where the turning chains do not count as stitches and that is to avoid having um, little holes and in your work and uh, to stop it from going skew um, so what you'll be doing okay with your chain on your hook like this you'll want to yarn over before you insert your hook so yarn over like that okay you've got two loops on your hook then okay and again you're not going to put it in this hole over here you're going to put it in this chain here the second chain from your hook okay so you're just going to insert your hook at the top of the chain there you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull it through that loop and now you've got three loops on your hook okay now you're going to yarn over again and you're going to pull it through all three loops and there's your first half double crochet okay again you've got your V at the top of the stitch and that's what the half double looks like so it's a little bit bigger than the single but smaller than the double and again I'm going to show you how to do it you're going to yarn over like that and you're going to put it through the top of that chain yarn over and pull through like that again you've got three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through like that okay there you've got your second half double crochet uh, I'll show you one more time how to do it you're gonna yarn over like that two loops and then insert your hook yarn over pull through three loops on the hook yarn over and pull through and there you've got your three half double crochets and uh, you can sort of see now how it's starting to come out um, so yeah if you want to you can pause the video and go back a couple seconds and rewatch how to do that otherwise carry on to the last chain um, and I'll meet you back there. We'll be um, ending this first row with 10 half double crochets. Uh, so now we're just coming up to the 10th half double for this round. So we're just going to insert. And there we've got 10 half double crochets. Okay, we just want to count and double check that we haven't missed any. Okay, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, and that's what it should be looking like now. And so, just pull that tight in. Now we're going to do our turning chain um, for the second row. Um, for when you're following um, patterns and stuff like sometimes it'll say to chain two for the half double crochet I don't like that I find that you also get end up with holes and then that's also generally when they're counting it as a stitch um, but again you have little gaps in your work and it's not very nice so we're just gonna chain one like that and we're going to turn it so we're working from right to left okay and again we're not going to be working into this stitch as is the case when you're counting the chain as a stitch 
but we're going to be working into here because we're not counting the chain as a stitch. So you want to put your hook through this part over here. Okay, so we're going to yarn over like we did in the first row and we're going to put it through the top of that stitch underneath both parts of the V. We're going to yarn over, pull it through. And there you've got three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull it through. Sometimes it is a bit of a struggle pulling it through, especially if your yarn's going to separate a bit. Um, you can just sort of um, try again until you get it through, like that. And then, so now we're going to go for the second stitch. So yarn over, put it through the top of the stitch, yarn over, again three loops, yarn over, and like that. Now you've got two half double crochets on row two. Again, yarn over, pull it through the top of that stitch, yarn over, pull through, and pull through all three loops. And there you've got your third half double crochet for row two. As you can see, um, this is what it's looking like now. Um, the half double crochet has actually quite a nice texture that I like. Um, it looks For me personally, I like it more than the single and the double. Um, I think it's just because it's it looks neater and it feels quite nice. Um, so yeah, if you want to, you can pause the video, go back a couple seconds and rewatch how to do these stitches, do these stitches. But otherwise, just carry on um, to here and I'll meet you back here with the 10th half double crochet for row two. Okay, so we're coming up to the 10th and final sing um, double crochet for row two. Again, sometimes it's a bit of a battle to get your hook through so you just want to use your thumb to help um, get it on um, the top of the stitch onto your hook and then yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three okay and that's what um, two rows of half double crochets look like um, okay so you can just carry on like that for another eight rows and um, you'll just want to mark off your um, rows as you carry along just to get into the habit of um, keeping track of your rows. Um, so yeah, just keep a nice tally and then when you get to 10 you know you've got enough. So now you've done two rows. So. Yeah, just uh, carry on and meet me back there and I'll show you how to finish it off. Okay, so now we're just coming up onto the end of row 10. Okay, just mark that off. Like so. And so this is what your... 10 rows of half double crochets should be looking like. That's the one side, that's the other side. Okay, you can also double check that you've got, that you haven't missed any rows um, just by counting. So I like to use these grooves here as um, row markers. Um, basically, as you can see, if you look on this side, there's one there and there's one there. So uh, generally there's two rows between these so if you come onto the side with the wider bottom then you can count two four six eight ten okay if you look on this side and you can count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so that's what it's looking like and then just like you did with the single crochets um, you can just chain one to finish it off, 
leave a nice long end for sewing or weaving in should I say pull it through tighten it okay and then take your darning or tapestry needle and just thread it through like that and then um, just coming from here put it work it through the bottom of the bottom of the stitch sometimes it's a bit difficult to just get it in the first one uh, but then after that it should go a bit more smoother so you just want to get it right through the bottom of these stitches about seven or eight of them one okay pull it through sometimes it can be a bit tight just uh, work it through carefully and pull like that don't pull it too tight because you don't want your work to um, warp like that and then just hold it nice and tightly hold it nice and tightly and just cut free and there's the first side weaved in and it's a nice neat little rectangle okay so again we're just gonna weave in this end okay put it through that hole there at the bottom of the chain okay and then just go into the second rows half double crochets like that again about seven or eight one more There we go. Uh, it's getting a bit tight. Yeah, sometimes with these th uh, things can be a little bit tight. You just gotta be patient and work it through like that. And there you've got it. Again, just pull nice and tightly and cut free. And there's your half double crochets done. And so, if you'd like to watch the full lesson, you can do so by clicking here. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.